good morning guys welcome back to another video we are back on site back on this um garden office build here in wimbledon and uh so we got four man team today we got mr b back with us today as well giving us a hand so today's main job is to shift the rest of this soil get it down to the front for the grab truck and um continue the digging got to get it finished to dig in today because the concrete is coming tomorrow so it's a lot of concrete i've worked it out roughly about nine to ten cubic meters um so yeah quite a lot of concrete so i'm gonna get on with this digging now yes 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 so we are pretty much done with our foundation digging we're just sort of cleaning up the edges with the shovel squaring up everything nicely um yeah we're ready to go this is where our services are going to be coming in we've actually got mains water we've got the electric cable we've also got this waste cable for the toilet there's going to be some sort of massive massive macerator sort of um uh, uh well, what's the word it looks like a manhole in the ground and it's got a macerator sort of in it there's that big piece of steel that that's basically right down in the ground so that's gonna have to get cast over all the way around here all the way around here so we've got a little soil to move what we've basically filled up the front of the yard of the house so we're gonna have to wait for a grab uh, truck to come and pick that up and then we can sort out the rest of this we'll probably just do it by hand and put it in a skip but yeah otherwise that's it foundation done pour is tomorrow we've got about nine cubic meters of concrete to pour that's coming tomorrow we've got a pump that's going to be coming from the front I'm going to pump it around the back so it should be a nice and easy job to do a lot more expensive but it's too it's too difficult and too much concrete to do by wheelbarrow and we'd have to go through the house and we don't want to risk that so we're just going to get a pump and pump it down the back so hopefully this should be all cast tomorrow and then next day ready for block lane so i'm just finished up this last bit the guys are just gone it's about 5 30 now so just finishing this bit off and we got it done so uh, as I said, tomorrow we can pour our concrete. So what I'll do first thing in the morning, we'll put our um, our rebar in. We'll measure this, level it all out, and then we'll pour this tomorrow.
All right, guys, so this is what the guys have managed to move today. We've been a very, very busy. As you can see, there's a lot of earth here. But um, yeah, we've got the grab truck to come and pick this up. So um, just gotta wait for that to come through now. But yeah, guys done a good job today. Alright guys, let me see if I can explain a little bit the layout of the house. So basically this is going to be the front door, which is going to be sort of like a large sort of sliding door or patio door, I'm not sure actually, um, but it's going to be a sort of large doors here. Um, and then we're going to have some two sort of wings that sort of stick out. So it sort of has a sort of a porch area over it, so the walls are going to extend out slightly to the sides to sort of enclose that area um, <clears throat> so then this wall is going to sort of come in in a bit and then it's going to run across here we have a floor to ceiling window here then we take a wall around the back around the back and back down here um, yeah so that's basically it so we're going to have cavity walls here and we are going to have block mostly block there's going to be a bit of brick as well as well as an internal brick wall which is a feature wall so there's going to be an internal brick wall on this wall here it's going to be our brick uh, i think it's black brick and uh, the back wall is going to be block probably block rendered or something and then most of the other wall is going to be done in block and it's going to be cladded um, with some sort of corrugated black corrugated cladding which is which should look quite cool the roof is also going to be uh, corrugated cladding as well, sort of similar material. Um, it's going to have a sort of a funny shape, um, but it's unique to the architectural design of the house. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll try to show you guys pictures of the of the drawings. Sorry about the trains. I'll try to show you guys pictures of the drawings as we're going along. That'll give you a bit more idea of what's going on and try and it's really hard to explain um the details of the house so there's also going to be a bathroom at the back with a shower toilet and sink as well it's going to be hot water in here which will be heated internally with a with a water heater internal or instant hot water heater um, as i mentioned before we have a waste pipe here which is like a sort of like a two and a half inch or so three inch pipe or something like that which is running uh, into the into the system in the main house and there's going to be a a sort of a manhole style uh, ex external macerator, which is going to be buried in the ground. It's sort of like an inspection chamber, really, sort of. Um, but it actually has a pump inside it as well. So the toilet soil stack will go into that. And then that, that will be connected and run out to there. Um, we've got power cables already, which your clients already supplied. Um, the blue, blue pipe we've got there is for water, which runs back to the house already. Um, as far as services, what else have we got? We actually have underfloor heating in here. We're going to have electric underfloor heating. Uh, we're going to have a cardine, cardine floor, sort of herringbone floor, which is quite nice, which is in the main house. So we're going to be using the same materials out here. So it sort of matches. We have also air conditioning we're going to have in here. So they're going to be a proper AC unit, which will be uh, have an exterior condenser and all that's going to be outside. Um, what else have we got in here? Um, that's the main things off my head but yeah a lot, a lot of nice stuff we've got a uh, data cabling which has already been run and ducted to the house from the from the from the main house so there will obviously be internet wi-fi and all that stuff in here straight from the house um yeah so basically i'm, I'm done for the day so as i said tomorrow morning we're gonna um, run this concrete in and then once we do that, we can start doing our first couple of courses. We're going to do similar what we normally do, trench blocks all the way around first to bring us up a level. And then we're going to probably have about three courses of uh, engineering bricks. Um, because the house is going to be sort of black, I'm going to be using, um, uh, uh, you can get sort of like a, a, a dark, dark gray, black engineering brick sort of. We'll use that for the base. 
so that it sort of blends in with the rest of the house. Um, so we'll probably do three courses of that on the outside and we'll do one course on the inside and that will bring us up to up to our damp proof course level. Once we've got up to our damp proof course level, then we can sort of level the inside area. We're gonna have to remove uh, this, you know, whatever uh, excess here, we're gonna have to move it by hand, wheelbarrow it out to the skip and then we'll level this hardcore it, compact it like we normally do. There's gonna be insulation in the floor, uh, damp proof membrane and then we'll screen it. So that's the plan for that, yeah. So good process so far. This is uh, day three. Um, is this day three? No, this is actually day two. This is actually day two. So day three tomorrow, we should have our concrete in. So it's a lot easier when you're doing sort of the garden houses compared to doing an extension because you haven't got all these pipes that under the ground, service pipes that you've got to bridge over and all this stuff. It's a lot easier in that sense. However, you might not think it but there's a these are actually more work than an extension um, or more materials at least because usually when you're doing an extension typically like a kitchen extension you'll have three walls so you'll have you know your two sides and your, and your back wall um, with a garden house we're building all the way around so we've got four walls so it's a lot more concrete a lot more blocks such etc um, so yeah more insulation pretty much you know about a quarter more of everything so it ends up you know being a lot more materials to do sort of a garden house this is quite big this is about i think it's about 4.7 externally wide this way and it's about five uh about 5.6 depending on where you take the wall up to here this way so you're talking quite at least you know 20 to 25 square meters um of space in here so it's a quite quite um substantial size house it said it should be quite cool as well i'm really looking forward to see what it looks like when it's finished but yeah guys i just wanted to just run a few things because i didn't get to take too much video today so i thought let me see if i can take some time to sort of explain and run through the job with you um but yeah that's it basically so i'm going to shoot off now guys are gone already so until the next video we'll see you soon thanks for watching